previously on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> kiss, kiss! You guys ruined it! And now back once again to my childhood. Sneaky B, back with some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. When we last left off, there's something going down in the Gengaga destroyed reactor. And it's up to Cloud and the boys to go find out what. That's right. Girls, you stay here. But why? I don't know. Just reason. Stay here. And no sooner do they get there, do they discover, oh my God, the plot goes live. And for some reason, they got weird glowy eyes. And oh God, I think Sephiroth's controlling them, isn't he? And as they make their way to the center, where all the whispers are just kind of flying in a circle, Shinra attacks. With Scarlet sticking some weird Hojo shit on Cloud and team. As Cloud's head starts getting all fucking crazy. God, God damn it. Why don't we leave the girls behind? They technically have like all the best characters in this game anyway. They're like way stronger than all of us. We need you girls. Guess it's our cue. The girls hopping on Chocobo, flying their asses all the way to the reactor and grapple hooking their way to the top. And after getting Scarlet a thorough ass beating, Cloud gets full of Sephiroth's dank energy and starts slashing away at everybody. And even suspecting poor Tifa of being a fake, knocking her ass into the Mako depths below. Oh shit, she's fucking super dead, right? Oh wait, no, she got swallowed by a weapon. Friendly fish. And oh my God, I'm tripping balls right now, bro. Seeing glimpses from a childhood before being returned up top and treated back in Gungaga, where Cloud and her finally have their talk to talk. And God damn, dude, I just, this game is something else, man. What really gets me is that these new additions to the story, right? They don't feel like they take away from what the original had, you know? It feels like it just builds on it, makes it better. Like, I legitimately think the characters in this game, in this version, as well as like remake and stuff, are just better versions of the original. And I love those characters. I love the original characters, minus UP. But every one of the characters that's in that game is done infinitely better in this one. Like there's such a lovely pacing to everything. Again, just that 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 buildup of like Tifa and Cloud trying to talk to each other and failing. And then finally in this moment here, right, where he realizes like, oh man, there is something super wrong with me. Like, like Cloud cannot at this point deny anymore that there is something wrong with him. Like he doesn't want to like face it. He doesn't want to tell anybody. And Tifa being the insanely forgiving human being that she is, is just like, you know, accepting that and saying, hey, we'll figure out some way. Like, even though you knocked me to the murky depths of a radioactive fucking plant and let me to fucking die, I'm stuck gonna hold it against you. And I still want to make out with you. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Quizmaster Entertainment said, uh, Nico, if anyone thinks you are faking your reactions, then they are just projecting their lack of faith on others. I've been watching your content for years. You wear your emotions on your sleeve. I can't deny it. I would likely not even enjoy this game as much as I do watching the game. I love the characters and story, but I never owned it myself. I wasn't able to fully get into the game myself. So in a way, it feels like enjoying a story the way I could never do as a kid. Hey, th thanks, uh, Quizmaster. I appreciate that. I, I saw a lot of comments from you guys in, that, in regards to that. And I I'm just glad because I, I just remember seeing some of those comments from last the last time I played like seven remake. And I just I didn't want people like because I, I do get it. Like I, I really do understand why people would be skeptical about that. Like I'm forcing to feel my like I'm forcing to feel something that isn't actually like how I'm really feeling about it. Just to, just to get like a reaction or make it a nice clickbait shit. And if you're not familiar with my channel and you're just like popping in here, it would, it'd be pretty easy to just be like, oh, this guy's just like overreacting for the sake of it. But but I, I appreciate seeing you guys just say that, you know, those of you familiar with my content and have been watching me, though that I'm generally pretty honest, both when I love something and even when I really don't like something. So trust me when I'm saying that, when I say that this game is like blowing my mind, it really is. But it's nice to hear too that uh, even for people who are just maybe not as like attached to FF7 as like myself, they're just enjoying like seeing somebody else get that excited or to help, you know, can help elevate the experience even for yourself than maybe you would playing it on your own. And I could totally understand that feeling because I, I watch a number of people, like a number of other streamers or uh, YouTubers who are interested and, and passionate about things that I am not. But I like to watch them talk about those things simply because I love hearing people talk about the things they're passionate about. You know, it's just it's sort of addicting. 
There's something very enjoyable about hearing someone just explain and like, you know, why something means so much to them and then seeing their enjoyment and their, their happiness from that thing. I wouldn't be surprised there's a lot of you guys, you know, like, who, you know, I'm, when I'm reacting to th other things I like, like Kingdom Hearts or Dying Europa or whatever, it's like, you may not feel the same way I do about it, but it may just get an enjoyment out of seeing me get so stupidly amped about it. <laughs> And hey, everybody likes a good pop off every now and then, right? But Quizmaster, uh, thank you so much for your, your generally very sympathetic comment. And to everyone else who, who left similar comments, truly thank you. And it is that reason you are comment of the day. But all right, so uh, we saved Tifa. Funny, funny enough, we uh, went to the reactor. We did not come across the Triceratops. That did not happen. But I wouldn't put it past if, if, if that was like potentially maybe this area's uh, like hunt. You know, like we've gone across the Tomberry King and the uh, the Cthulhu thing and uh, the Quetzalcoatl and whatever. Like maybe that's this area's thing. I'm still holding out hope for that Triceratops. Okay, and we we'll see if uh, my friends are as forgiving as Tifa was. So basically, we got some nasty-looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream, and these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Get help, Barrett. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? Don't you we need it? to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in, like all in! <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we- Say no more! Let's ride, people! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Raj, what's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> Yay! While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... Free flyer pli pilot? It's not gonna be who I think it is, is it? Also, here's a bird. <gasps> this here is Spango. He's taken quite a liking to you. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Wanna, Fango? Don't you wanna? Thanks, Disney, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, no! just ask around the village. Let me give the grappling hook. It was so cool. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna be added to our repertoire. Look at that. We, we how we got the technically the technically I guess it was we had like a rope grappling hook. To swing around. I thought that'd be like added afterwards so that we could like zip around too. Ah! Come on, let me keep it. What are you gonna use it for? You're not doing anything here, Sisney. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. You know, we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancied trying my hand as a merc. No time to dick around. Merc. Perish the thought. I just want to pull my weight. Help my pals out where I can, I swear! Think we can do without your kind of help, you Shinra bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? Ah, the way we snuggled up last night, <laughs> I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <coughs> I only did that, because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. <laughs> Don't go making it weird when I'm cat. Stupid talk cat. Yeah, we definitely got a lot to explore here. Hmm. Interesting. If it's... If it's referring, it said that there's a pilot 
over in uh and actually i think and i think about it i think i remember actually running or, or passing by that it was out or wait out here no uh over wait go in the corral region yeah passing by it before i entered gangaga yeah it was like right over here the corral airstrip I wonder if that's going to be where we meet a certain character. If that if that is the case, that would be in a very different spot than when we encounter him for the first time. It might not be, though. It might just be some generic NPC. Why, hello, Cloud. Did you enjoy your buggy ride? The tires Chef are Chandler. being forced to provide traction in even the most slippery of sands, which means you can explore the dunes at your leisure. This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got for, the, for this area? Uh, oh, Petrify Materia. Quake, Quakera, Quake, Quaga. Interesting. I mean, this is just earth, essentially earth damage, right? Not just for actually pet, not just for petrification. It's actually is like, yeah, it's like, it's like the, the bio spells, right? They can't inflict poison. This could inflict Petrify, but it's also earth. Uh, cool. Magic Focus increases the potency and duration of spells with the linked Materia. What the fuck? Are you serious? That sounds insanely good. Limit Siphon. Allow you to absorb an ally's limit gauge to fill your own with Limit Siphon. Yeah, I remember that one. Synergy Support. Slightly increase synergy when other party members use a synergy ability during battle. Increase synergy by one when other party members use synergy dur ability during battle. Okay, so ability, not skill. Huh, that's an interesting one. So you add another pip or something when you use a synergy ability with somebody else. To, uh, to like your friends. Okay, that could be good, but maybe. I'll go with the uh, quick Kara here. All right, what quests do we got here? Uh, two, teach me great warrior. I'm looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior. Help me reach my full, oh wait, I accepted this one already. I, I think I did. I thought I've never seen this before. Oh, chicken, where art thou? You wouldn't believe the state of my chicken coop. Poked full of fresh holes because that black stuff from the reactor. Some were big enough for my little deers to wriggle through and run off, and now I'm scrambling to track them down for some beast to get them. Okay, it's always a, it's always a quest in RPGs where you gotta chase down chickens for some reason. Oh, that should do it. Hi, ma'am. Oh, chicken, where art thou? Say, can you spare a minute? Not really. No, lady. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I, I see two the there, ma'am. But beyond that, this is like a lie. I'm at wit's end here. Let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. Ask about these escaped chickens. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. Pee Pee and Peep are so easy going. Pee Pee. They stayed right here with me without any urging. But Pippily and Pippity and Pippy and Peep, well, Pippity they Pippity didn't Pippity hesitate. Pippity. Took off like lightning. Some lovely naming conventions after your birds, ma'am. We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes. I tell you, all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman Aeroplanes? Back. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> okay, fine. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Let's Whoa. Get, love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. Feed clang clanger. Serve us well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> he fucking just eats that chick. Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Okay. Find those chickens! Uh, press up to use the feed clanger and lure the chickens back to Kazra. <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. He pulled out a little string. So I move backwards. You pull the clanger along. If kitchen is too close, press L2 to yank it back to the chick out chickens out when the chicken's out of reach. All right. Look at all these eggs. Look at all these eggs. Look at these chickens. <laughs> all right, take this chicken. Check this shit out. Uh, 
What? Oh, he lost. He lost. He lost interest. Do not let him lose interest. Check it. Check this shit out. Man, chicken is right there. You could just go grab it. There we go. All right. They can't be that far. Come on, we gotta we gotta go a good ways here. Over there. Yeah, the chicken gets distracted. Stop moving and wait for it to focus on the clanger again. Look, chicken. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Uh. Chicken, look at this. Come on. Hey, hey. Focus, 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 chicken. Uh. Blech. <laughs> Like, whoa, where did food go? Where did food go? Ooh, wee. Give her a chicken, come on. Uh. Focus, chicken, come on. Focus. Uh. My, my, what a trek you must have made to get here. Lady, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna smack you with my chicken clanger. Look at this shit. Back to square one. No! No way. Hey, hey, chicken, look, look. Chicken, chicken, look. Okay, good. Here we go, lady. Lively. Red or those bugs. Those bats. I'll tell you, I'm not a real cat. Am I right? The chicken is about to charge the feed clinger. L2, you can get back just in time to continue the string bird. Oh, man. So Birds get aggressive. What, what are you, you then? Oh. 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 I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. You be fucker. Careful. Can't move fast. This bird's cooking it, dude. What the hell? He just fucking careful. blew in there. Ah! Ah! What? Yank it. I did yank it back. He just. Hey, you little dickhead. So I gotta be like at an angle here. If I'm straight, if I'm directly uh, in its line here. Uh oh. You're a piece of shit, stupid chicken. Yeah, you have to like Toro it. Hey, look. I got I'm, uh, he's, still, he's still with it. It's our ah! Oh actually, no, 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 no. I get it. I, I actually just I just need to pull it it did say that. You just need to pull it the last minute. It's not so much getting it out of the way, just wait till he gets as close as humanly possible to it. I'm essentially pulling it too early. I go the right way here. Can't look at my map. Where am I going? Oh, right there. Ah! The hitbox of that chicken is crazy. Come on. I didn't look like he was not even on it. No, chicken, look. Look, she's right here, chicken. Come on. Come on, chicken. Come to mommy. Okay, there we go. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippily. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? She's all the way over in the grasslands. You have to you have to you have to trek that bird all the way from the grasslands. Cross a boat, cross a fucking continent, through a desert. Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. Oh my god. Better have to try to track that 
trying to actually lure it from over there. All right. Ah. Oh, over here. So okay. What are free flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the sky. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky. Least of all Shinra. Said our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Hippoly is somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. Okay. Okay, so, so the... Never mind, the airfield is actually down here. It was not actually the other... The one I passed by on uh, on the way to Gengaga. Chicken! That's a long no way fucking way. To town. Careful now. Oh my god, you're actually seriously making me do this. Dude, no fucking way. Oh my god, we're so far out. I was joking, game. Oh, you're such a piece of shit. <laughs> Never mind, this game sucks. I changed my mind. Fuck. I changed my fucking mind. This lady better give me the ultimate materia for this shit. This, oh my, this is so far, dude. I understand why I can't just pick up the chicken. When you really stop to think about it, you know? What the fuck is he going to do, huh? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Hurry, chicken. Hurry, chicken. What the fuck? That is a different looking fuck. That's like a, a an avian creature covered in scales supposed to feathers. Yeah, it lives in the forest region. Actually, it's a gardener that keeps intruders at bay. Oh, God. All right, grows pressure over time while storing electric charge. Once fully charged, it will counterattack and unleash stun attacks. Stargate will remove the charge. How? Holy shit, this guy can do some damage, bro. Get with the blood fang, Red. Uh, uh. Uh, oh my god. Oh, die, dude. <gasps> Friend. <laughs> I can understand you, chicken. Hey, you needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. <laughs> they were quite eager to return to the village. Azra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. And why do they run? Ow! All right, lady. <laughs> My chicken! Oh, I'm so relieved you all made this is for you, Nugget. Safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. You're telling me. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Oh my god, ma'am! Say good night, Pippoli! What the fuck? <gasps> What the? I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. Oh my god! Any time, you hear? The music is the game over music! Scrumptious grilled chicken, where that came from? They. They could have lived long and happy lives. Oh no! If I hadn't. <laughs> oh no! Well, we all gotta eat? Oh! Bad end! Oh god! Ah! Uh, uh, why are you happy after that red? Look at that! Why is your bike on blue? Ah! <laughs> oh my! Wow! Wow! Dark end. I mean, listen. I know we're all eating chicken and stuff, but once you get to know the animal and like have a name and stuff, that's when it starts to get like, all right. They that, they they cut, they go off the menu after that. Apparently not a crazy lady here, what the hell? Did your tummy just rumble? Stay for dinner. I'm always happy to treat my favorite helper. This is why the chickens ran away. You should have stayed out there. The world is safer without you being around this lady. Run, chickens! Run! I 
feel genuinely disturbed after that uh, conclusion. Let's go play some Queen's Blood to forget all about that. What's the matter, Oscar? Oh my god. Do you want to play a game? About to, I challenged a dog before. Now let's challenge a chocobo. And he's got a cool hat. I bet I win his hat when I beat him, too. Ah, you there. Behold, my burb. Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's Blood, aren't you? Isn't that great, Oscar? I found someone you can play against. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's Oscar the Chocobo. Swift. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. He's he a god at this game. One game a day. So, how about it? Mind going around with him? Bring it on, bitch. I'll fight this bird. So we've got a few new ones. A a a Amphidex. The first time's card is enhanced. Raise the power of ally cards on effect tiles by three. First time the card is enhanced? So the card gets enhanced, and then uh, uh, allies that are on the tiles affected will also get enhanced by three. That's interesting. It's That takes, that seems like it might take a bit of setup. Fry Flower. When destroyed, raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two. Oh, that's that's like a that looks like a fucking uh buckshot there. Just like ah, fucking shoot everywhere, make everybody strong. Uh, Gangandi. When first enhanced, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. B Bagnadrana. When enemy cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. Okay, Gigantoad. Oh, it's a uh, uh, a replaced card or whatever. Destroy an ally card and replace it. Yeah. Okay, I've been liking my, uh, the deck I've been working with lately, so. Let's go. Oh, it was so good. Uh, okay, I. I think I win. Just gonna stir it, though. Boom. Get wrecked, burb. Oh. Oh, you have one of these, too. Well, that's not really going to do much. Hey, look, I can do that, too, dickhead. Uh, okay, he's got another one. Going to do anything? Oh, God, that brought us up to 19. Oh, shit, we're tied. We tied. That means nobody wins. Okay, now it, it's starting to get a little more like, hey, the game seems like it's over, but it's actually not when you have these cards. All right. Now we have victory. Hey, thing? What the hell? You waited again? Oh no! You must have pulled another card right at the at that moment. Uh, no more. Okay, good. Fucking bird. Griffin, replace an ally and raise the power of ally cards on effect tiles by uh, the replaced ally's power. Ooh! Oh, that's a wild one. That's actually kind of crazy. Whoa. This is the first time I've ever seen Oscar lose. Didn't expect that. <laughs> he's sad. <laughs> Seems like he's a little bitter. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for indulging him. He can make it a lot harder for us to do our jobs when he's in a mood. Really, believe it or not, he's going to make his television debut soon. You He'll don't be up say. against a dog that plays Queen's Blood. <laughs> That's right, yes. to make sure he wins to help drive up tourism here. Oh, I want to see that tournament. <laughs> He'll pull it off. I am the I am truly the top of the animal kingdom here, baby. All right, hit uh, level seven. Ooh, getting some more. Uh... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Limit break level three finishing touch. Oh, that's amazing. Folk the power of raging cyclone to annihilate the... Oh, that's so sick. Oh, yes. New limit breaks. Oh. I mean, several of the ones were the new characters I hadn't encountered. It, a lot of limit breaks are first the same from the last game. So, this is actually the first new one for Cloud. And Ascension and Cross Slash were both in Remake. Ooh. Whoa, what the hell? This is... Oh, what the... Launch a deadly assault from above. Can only be performed in midair, classed as a weapon ability. Dude, this looks like uh, some shit that he can do in Dissidia. Funny enough. Wow, that's really fucking cool. Curiosity's end. Case at least onto the cloud's shoulders and delivers a calculated strike. Cool. Actually, I actually, I realized all these are actually not. I can't actually get these yet. Parson pick. Finally, th th there's the uh, another one for Baron and Cloud. Couldn't believe how. Uh, Actually, I think I actually remember this from one of the earlier trailers, too. 
can't believe how few Barrett him and him had. I think they said the United Front, basically. Oh shit. Devastation. A rolling enemy with a powerful ninjutsu move. Yeah, I won't be able to get any of this until party level eight, but I do want to see what that I do want to see these new limit breaks. Fuck, so cool. Yeah, Storm's Fury. Incredibly powerful attack. Cost three ATB? Only available during United Refocus. Jeez. Retaliation. If attacked during Vengeance Mode, perform a ferocious counterattack. Cost two ATB and ends Vengeance Mode. Whoa. Dang, he's like, hit me, bitch. Uh, limb break through Wrath of the Land. Call upon the might of the planet and rend the enemy with deadly fangs. Uh, bush. So cool. Tifa's Trinity Strike. Activation, press square with correct timing to unleash three consecutive attacks. That's wild. Meteor strikes! Uh, 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 boosh. Right now, a series of devastating blows, each with the force of a falling meteorite. Wow. Fuck, it's so cool. Transcendence, focus your magical energy to unleash non-elemental magical attacks. It's very flexible charging such as increasing magic attack. Interesting. Rising Fury, fill the other members' limit break gauges. Whoa, Aerith, look at you go. Well, that's cool. Oh, satellite beam. Uh, oh, dependence day. Uh, oh, the air with beams of light from the beyond the stratosphere. That's amazing. Lifeblood Cannon. Consume all ATP and half your HP to fire a high-powered shot. Wow. Damn, that's really cool. Oh my god. Lucky slots. No fucking way. Square and X to align the reels. The abilities affect changes according to the results. Costs 2 ATB. It's back! They brought it back. A Giga Magic Mog Box. Use the Moogle to lob a mind-bogglingly big box of tricks at an enemy and find out what's inside. Damn, I got some cool shit to look forward to. All right, real quick, I want to try the, the song that I got before. I didn't test it. I just kind of got it and then didn't do anything. Cinco de Chocobo. Oh God, here we go. crazy Right. Oh, yes. Okay. I still got the A rank, baby. Let's go. Just barely. Whew. All right. Dope. What'd you think of that shit, old man? Right. Knock your chair There's over. No finer sound. Uh, steadfast block. My Liff Lewis melodies are level two. More pleasing when I hope you will. All right. All right. Who we got over here? Farmer Billy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, whoa, the cows. Come now, that's enough. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? 
I'm terrified of these cows. That. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but my back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time. Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. Let's do it, old man. All right, I went. Yes, deck man, I've got it. It's been pretty damn solid. A uh, great Marlboro. When played, power the lower the power of allied and enemy cards on effect house by six. Ooh, ugh. Well, I'll be. Aren't you something? Why, you were running circles around me like one of those professional racing chocobos. That's what I do. So is that how all you young folk play these days? Oh, Queen's blood sure has changed. Us uh, soul timers can't keep up anymore. Mm. But you know, that's exactly the way it should be. You're better off harnessing that energy. Oh, you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older and your back starts giving you no say in the matter. That's why you should spend your youth getting up to all kinds of mischief. <laughs> if you ever tire yourself out, though, I'll be here with my cards. A little downtime can do a body good. Thanks. Oh, okay. That, this quest giver is over here? He's like on top of something. How do I get up there? Uh, oh boy. Uh, uh, don't. Wow, it really knocked me far away from you. How do I get up to you? Oh, oh, I have to take the, the right way up here. And then, yeah, there we go. All right, what are you doing, weirdo? Oh, um, since you're here, I need your help to become a true warrior. Please, guide me to greatness. I'm so Tetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know, telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? Zack? He's a friend of mine. Say that name again. We grew up together, hung out, and stuff. I remember you from Crisis Core. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. Why do you become a warrior? To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. No can do. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please, I'm begging you. Wait, me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. <laughs> Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple. Meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. <laughs> Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. You're get fucked up, kid. Hey. Come along. See what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm already like at the start of this one. Got the Yuffie music playing. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. 
Begin the training. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. Okay. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Please, teach me your ways, master. Yeah, you've been party yesterday. All right. This house done, bitch. Oh. Oh. Fail. Oh, I didn't see the shit up there. Please, Master. Let me try again. Help Satatsu strike the enemy three times. Pressure an enemy. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Didn't see Keep that shit up there. Master. Don't let him fall in battle. Okay. Hey, hit him. One. I won't give up. Oh, I'm dying. Fire. I got him with ice. Ugh. All right, hit it three times. Go, kill him. Kill him, guys. That's cute. This is, this is actually a neat idea. I like this. Come on. No time to waste. Oh, good. Restore his health. What about our health, you feet? What about our fucking health? Arrgh. Like the saying goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. Now, strike swift and true. Sure Pressure enemy twice. Start. Stagger enemy. Don't let it, uh, it let Satetsu fall. All right. Okay, just go boosh. That didn't count as a stagger. Remember this shit. Ugh. Shit. Pressure to them. Couldn't stagger them, though. Failed. You failed me, Satetsu. As long as it takes. There we go. Okay, let's keep up the pace. This is only your first step on the long and winding road to ninja hood. It's only just begun. Woo! I got some weirdos down here. Huh? You cross paths. Uh, stagger the enemy twice. To feel enemies with, within the time limit. Don't let Satetsu fall. Okay, stagger enemies twice. Ow! Oh, fuck! Bundle uh, uh, yeah. Die! There we are! Ah. Ah. Great teamwork! Yes, teamwork. You you contributed some some there, Satetsu. And I'm uh, being very gracious about saying that. Secret gym. It's a Tom Barry. You made it? <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, because that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. He called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Squatting, baby. Uh. A uh, body. Uh, and mind. Uh, start. Uh, by training. Uh, you're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. In your quads. Uh, Got it. Look at this shit. Uh, uh, deep. Deeper, Satetsu. Deeper. Come on. Come on, feel it burn. <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? Mayday! SOS! 
Uh oh. Oh my god, some juiced up alpha dunks. Oh, fuck me! Don't let Stetsu fall! Ow! Oh, it's a fucking mastodon! Ow, I'm getting fucked up! Herbivores that roam forested regions, something that has altered their hormones to the extent that they now sweat a strange black liquid. They're extremely aggressive, mercilessly trampling anything that draws near. So when their element of weakness will draw their ire, after some time they will begin to rest. Inflicting enough damage while they are resting will pressure them. Don't stop now. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, Sensei was eviscerated in that fight. <laughs> He's like, black fucking bisected. Won? Wow. All that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back at the village. Uh, hello? What about my materia? <laughs> Tell you care about Yuffie. Yes! Yo, I thought I made that pretty clear from the start. I love materia! Might as well grab the 5G tower while I'm out of here, though. Oh, God, I found the Mog House, too. Ugh. Emporium, I see, Koopo. Might as well just get it done. Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clock is seeking to a, do, a, do a new time limit, and the Mooglets are more mischievous than ever. Return all them all to the, t the box so before time runs out, the game will end. Why? We don't need a time limit. Come on, it's unnecessary. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, boy. Oh, I see. You can chase him over this. Better run, bitch. Better run. Come on. Knock him into that shit. All right, come here, motherfucker. Get in there. Ow. Okay. Okay. One left. Way over here. Go into that cyclone. Run, Cloud, run! <sighs> Gotta go faster than that, man! Damn, I didn't actually really take him much of a distance at all. Get in there. Ha! Thanks so much. Fuck you. Fuck you, Miguel. Thank you so much for gathering all the Mooglets, Kubo. After Mog and Mag established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when, their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Kubo. Yeah, I guess that's you, huh? I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> How do you guys mate anyway? Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. Uh, all right, we got some level boost materia. Way of the fist. And some cases of stuff. Oh, found a life spring. Bunch of shit. It's a pretty, pretty area on this one. I can't tell what the fuck do you want, Chadley? Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It appears to be in the past leading to the reactor. The okay. terrain you will need to traverse is littered with scrap metal and other such debris. Please watch your step. Okay, over there. Ah, here we go. Let's get to this tower. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, hi. Oh, this is interesting. You're actually coming at it from the top now. And making your way down. Clever. Very clever. Like, again, this is such a small thing. But it really adds up. Just making it so that the towers aren't all just copy-paste the same. I kind of also would think I might have actually gotten most of the stuff here. Oh, wait. Actually, no, I didn't. Never mind. I was gonna point at the, the Moogle Emporium and shit. Okay, get down, transmute an enhanced crucible bracer. I like how that when you're doing this, everyone else is like sniffing around too. It's cute. A pair of full throttle wrist guards and a riot vest. Sorcerer's earrings and a Cetra talisman. Neat. Oh wow, increased strength by 10%. Max HP of 500, jeez. This is actually some good shit. All right, what we got going on over here? This is what the proto relic thing is too. Cliffside storehouse. 
Ooh, this is a big area. Ooh, an elixir. Pair of protective boots. And 3,000 bucks. All right, what's the proto relic shit this time around? I appear to be staying on top of it. Or is it down below me? Oh, yeah, it is. Cloud, wait a second. Security is still active, but I should be able to disable it remotely. One moment. This appears to be a Shinra training facility, one of several in the region. Out here in Gungaga? That's news to me. The official records were curated to remove all mention of them some time ago. They were last used by General Affairs Auditing. The Turks. I've created fake IDs for all of you. Now, shall we see what awaits us inside? Interesting. This music from Remake. Uh oh, we're getting some VR shit. Uh. Yes, that is us. Oh, say. Welcome to the church training facility. Zung! As you well know. Our duties often require that we enter into high-risk situations. Failure is tantamount to death. Even here, act as though your lives are on the line. Without further ado, I'll brief you on your mission. Calm's Bailey has been breached by armed insurgents, allowing hordes of fiends to overrun the town. Your military is on site. The enemy is utilizing the chaos to establish a foothold. Our mission is to pinpoint their leader's location and apprehend him as soon as possible. This exercise will begin as soon as you are ready. Good luck. Interesting. They were faint at best, but I did pick up proto-relic readings during that mission briefing just now. So, in other words? In other words, to secure it, you need only lay waste to your simulated enemies. Okay. Complete VR missions of the Turks' various training facilities to extract the encrypted proto relic data contained therein. Each mission will utilize your current parts, so be sure your preferences are in order before initiating a simulation. Okay, let's give it a try. Be in sight. Attention all units. Engage the monster threat. Fuck you, Root. Okay, just some some of these shitheads. Fine. Let's finish. Requesting backup. Okay. Emnadoc. Okay. This is the leader's last line of defense. He must be close. Don't let him escape. What? Their last line of fiends. You're See, dickhead. Uh, uh, uh. Tifa. Tifa. I'm in. Uh. We have arrested the insurgent leader. Somehow. Your leader is in custody. Damn it all. Oh, that's the song from uh, Integrate. I love this song. complete. Excellent performance. You'll serve us well in the field. The insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company, and it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. Ooh. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Interesting. I've made an incredible discovery. Wow, that the proto relic? While the image is still quite unstable, 
The implication is staggering. The proto-relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis there. Okay. Uh, over there. What's this crap about removing the seeds of trouble? They really have no idea. It's Shinra's own fault everyone hates them. What goes around comes around. As it should. I guess, but... The problem is that not everyone in Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean... I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be of service. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the, what makes some of this shit so interesting. Actually, I think about it, I didn't go finish that quest. We're gonna do that real fast. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? <laughs> what? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious. Class like, huh? That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. If you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. We got fucking Cisne, the ex-Turk. No money or materia required. Well, thanks, Cisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under their tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well, sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just, I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. You just then look a lot like Zack for some reason. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud, Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living in all. Yeah! But you might want to consider lowering your rates. How considerate after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two? Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! Dude! You'd be sad. More new quests? What? Seriously? And then suddenly we have more stuff to do. The Spice of Life. Uh, from Cisne? The Gagaga mushroom soup may seem like a simple dish to most people, but making it is harder than you expect. My temps are coming together, and the flavor is always just a little bit off. I don't know if there's something I'm missing. If I have one too many ingredients or what? What's that other one? Where is that? It's like a blacksmith or something I gotta go see? Pursuit of perfection. Speak with the blacksmith to hear the details. Ah, over here. Sisney, what are you doing? Cooking happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? What have you done? <laughs> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Gotta get Wait, out. Don't leave. Run! Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. I think I want a bowl of anything you're making, lady. Let's get you look like a crime scene. The pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. 
What's in the pot? What's in the pot? Bunaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good, all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. One green seed. That's the problem. It needs something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms to do the trick. Or a hunk of cactuar meat. Let's not. I'm gonna eat a cactus. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of this stuff for me? Okay. Oh my god, things are really smoking in here. What a sweet literal boy you dog are staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torkin now, you hear? Uh. Nick. Nee. Pork. Did you just pay that dog money? We need to pay the ba play the battle oh, wow song. Yeah. That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Follow Melon. Stick to the paths, okay? <gasps> hey, we are playing the Bow Wow song. We are! So it wasn't just that one mission. That only happens in this one, too. Chasing after the doggo. Do, 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 do. A lot of chasing after doggos in this game, I tell you what. Well, I'm okay with that. Running fast. Going through a forest. La, 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 la. Oh, it's actually a different version of the song. It was like kids singing it here. That's cute. Big horn bracelet. We arrived. There's my boy. How hey, did boy. Go today? Good. Hello. Not seen you before. How did towners? Just visiting. Yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out-of-towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Bitch, you don't know me. Kill him, Barith. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. Got an eye for the stuff. But you're telling me you got near too? What's this one saying? I speak to the planet, motherfucker! Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep. Grow big and strong. I'll be. <gasps> oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. Thank you so much. Thanks, doggo. We really appreciate it. They finally Mine. learned to talk back. <laughs> they finally learned to talk back. That's funny. We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? That's a re that's a reference to the uh to remake when they like so it's like she, she talks to the flowers or something and it's like to the flowers but so now you're saying the plants are finally learning to talk back huh? This would be great. Cute. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality gangaga mushrooms, or better yet, some maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. To the next fucking Maybe level. You're on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. The aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. 
Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna want to savor it. The proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Show us the way, Melon. Melon! Show me the way. Back to the group music again. Nah, never mind. This actually is the same music. Yeah, it's the same song. Same battle songs. I, I think the other one probably is the same too, then. I think I just didn't listen to it long enough to realize that there were like kids singing in the the uh, non-battle version. Oh, I got some weird jellyfish out here. I haven't come across this enemy before. Gorgon Main. A rare crown lance variant that has adapted to the forest environments. It floats near Man near Mangaga mushrooms. Feed on the insects and small smaller creatures down drawn by the fungus's fragrance. Spoil cell likeness to pressure. It will also become pressure when attempting to cast spells while silenced. It cannot attack while flitting through the air, so patience is the key. <laughs> Eat this, motherfucker. Oh, fuck, he dodged that, too. There we go. Oh, that's that good shit. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these Automatch Torkins picture. I think I see it. So let's look, see the deposit similar shape and color. Yeah, that's uh that would be you. A big old hunk. I'd say that's the one we want. Ah, yes. Yeah. What a gorgeous color! Almost feels like a waste to grind them up. One more. All done. Yep, nailed it. All right, I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Okay. Here. And this wee pup. <laughs> yeah, talk about rustic. Then again, a life without battle. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new spin to the Shinra Resort. Not again. Eh? After oh, all no, that time and away. effort, cast off the design and embrace oh. eternity. Not making any progress. Is. I'm tired of this guy. Go for it. Could be a nice little air. What's up, bro? The hell with it. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to... <sighs> that arm. That magnificent arm. Uh, it behold. is a weapon. But how does it work? Barrett, Mission Tom. Uh, a universal adapter. Allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Hell yeah! Uh, occasionally. <laughs> Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? Uh, an old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! The yeah, who did actually make his gun arm, I wonder? <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But now you're not supposed to do that till the third game. I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. You live here? I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. And eventually, I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. 
So that parrot's Though arm. it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Ultimate weapon. Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a I don't know if this guy was in the last game. Or I mean the original game. I don't think so. I don't know if I remember like a weaponsmith out of Gangaga. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Made me realize too how soft I've gotten. Cause in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. Yeah. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. Draconite map. Obtain the map Izo has provided and press L and take a closer look. Follow directions as best you can to find the necessary Dragonite ore. Must be the map Izo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Ah, and you start from the house, I see. Ha! Cute. Okay, before I do that, let me follow bird. All right, let's get an, an analysis. Life in Gengaga. The village of Gengaga lies at the heart of the humid jungle, where many species of moss, fern, and mushroom thrive. Its people have a long tradition of self-sustenance, growing only enough produce and raising only enough livestock to support the collective. The village is by no means commercially enterprising. The Gaga mushroom endemic to the region is renowned for its rich aroma and commands a high price. The Gaga's fortunes took a turn for the worse following an explosion at the nearby Maka reactor. Though much of the jungle was temporarily declared a disaster zone or disaster area due to its elevated position, the village itself escaped the worst of the fallout. A small mercy considering the devastating rot below. Interesting. All right, time to follow our nose wherever it goes. The flavors of fruits wherever it goes. Okay, over. Here. Ah, okay, yes, and then follow the left path here. And then when you get to the circle, take a right. Okay, get to this thing, take a left. Ah, right here. Is this the place we're looking for? Cool. Ah, not cool! Ah, Big bird! Whoa, that's a lot of them. They're not oh, oh. Dagger wing. Even creatures that nest in forested, forested regions, they boast electrified wings, gathering ions from the atmosphere while flying to call down lightning. Exploring their elemental weakness and inflicting or inflicting enough damage during ionic charge will pressure them. Weak to wind. There we go. <laughs> I am on fire today. I've been pretty rough on you, I know. But you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. Good gun arm. I love you. Also, ow, I'm in pain. Hear me, Cloud, you fat asshole. Fuck you. Ah, here we go. Give me that. Still got more to find. Here we go. All Hold done. Up. Is that everything? It is. Let's head back and check in with Ezo. Okay, so tell me what uh, bears get a new uh, gun arm here. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. It'll take all of five seconds. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. It's a yes, fucking bazooka? Yes. I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! 
Sick. I, feel, I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value. Who else is going to use a gun arm anyway? Association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow, years from now, think about it if you haven't. Oh. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> <laughs> the Fafnir Maybe rifle. Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. Bitch. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Cool. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. Oh yeah, brother. Well, that was a cute one. All right, what does this uh, big ass gun do? Got an extra slot. Oh, point blank. Consume all ATP charges to deliver very close range attack and send enemies flying. Yep, that was from the last game. All station fires firearm crafted by a reclusive weaponsmith. Only downside is that has no linked slots on it. Thankfully, I'm not using any linked slots, so all good. All right, what well, we got in here? Enhanced overcharge, max MP, enhanced magic guard, attack power up, staggering charge, increases overload, reload from stagger enemies, limit break damage. All right, pretty good. Uh, definitely that, and a limit break damage. A croaking chorus. We got some unique frogs over here. Yeah, pastel Infidex. Don't turn into a frog too late. Rare Infidex variants that have entered their mating season. During this period, the creature's vocal sacs produce pheromones that induce sleep in all manner of creatures, both big and small. Well, the weakness will pressure them. Shit. There we are. All right, Chocobo. Show us the way. I'm going to best across that mushroom. Oh, yeah, it is. Let's do this, Chocobo. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's one. Behold, the Magunga mushroom. Note its mushroom like qualities. D Just got to be very careful. Uh oh. Plucking the mushroom? What the fuck? Plugging requires not only a green thumb, but a delicate touch as well. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with left stick. The portion with the most give should be tugged first. And the portion with the least uh, should be tugged last. Find the correct order to pluck the mushroom from the, the ground. R2 to tug. Uh, select R2 to pluck. Okay. I see you gotta figure out how, how much is bending. So that would be here, here, here. Yeah. Perfectly plucked. My God. More of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. Okay, we also got another spring over here. Good news, Cloud. I've unearthed information about a particularly rare monster. Deep in the forest lurks a fiend so foul. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. So foul, the mere mention of it induces nausea. This noxious pest may be negatively impacting the biome. Oh. I suggest you expedite Marlboro. its removal. It's, the, it's like the card I got before, right? The Sultan of Stench. Oh, yeah. Soldier of the Stank. 
Uh, the Kajada thing. Legend holds that each time Kajada appears before humans, it takes on a different form. It's been seen wreathed in raging flame, cloaked in chilling ice, and bathed in crackling lightning. For this reason, the people of Gundaga have worshipped it as an embodiment of nature itself for generations. Whoa! Circle, circle, square, square, X, X. Oh shit! Ah, first one I fucked up. Square, square, X, X. There we go. Ooh, slippity slide, birdie. Wee! And this takes me to another tower. Oh, there's a battle thing nearby. Found another one. Into the sack it goes. Okay. Oh, it's got four this time. Okay, that's definitely the first one. It's uh it's gonna be this, 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 this. Sensational picking, Mr. Murr. Hell yeah. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. Okay. Got some got five on it. Third and final. Let's not mess this up. Oh yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the first one right here. Oh my god, these two seem almost the same, dude. No, th this one's a little. This one's a little bit better. This one's worse. This is the. This is the worst one right here. I can't tell which is worse, this one or this one. I think this one. I think this one's worse. So I think it's gonna be this, this. This, this, this. It's possible I get three and four mixed up though. I don't know. What? <gasps> what? That was, I started off wrong? That's not the, he's, seriously? Oh, well then that, I'm, I'm super fucked. You're telling me this is not the first one. That's some bullshit game. That looks like this looks like the most pliable side. Yeah. Broken or not, it'll taste the same. Right? No. Okay, that one that one was hard. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep. Looks like we're done done. No. That's not perfect. I'm going to call bullshit on this one, dude. This seriously looks like this is the weakest side. Look how much this one bends, and this is not where it starts. I'm gonna call some bullshit on this one, game. Thank there you we go. In farming. Ah. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Woo! What do you want from me? More heat? Got it? Uh, falling fire! Oh god, just stay stop! Stop! Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? What will you do? Okay, check this shit out. We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay. One more shot. <laughs> if I die I from this, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh God. Oops. Whatever. Not selling a lot of hope here, ladies. Huh. This might turn out okay. <laughs> Told you. The fairs are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. 
Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? <laughs> bombberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <sighs> Whoa there! Might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. Yeah, I guess they're probably not aware that she was, you know, an ex-Turk. That's pretty good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just know the fairs are going to love it. Great job. <laughs> High five. Chakra earrings. All right. Might have burned down my kitchen if not for you. Thanks. That's what we're here for. All right. We still have stuff on the map and some proto relic stuff, but I kind of just want to put my head over here real quick. And the main the main story. I want to see this might be who I think it is. Gungaga. Uh, looks like we found the airstrip. Airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a public telephone booth, eh? What the wee look? Telephone booth? Huh? Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Oh my god. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Oh, like, it totally is. With a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. Oh my god. This is definitely going to be the person I'm thinking of. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke! The smoke. It worked right somehow. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> well, look at that. Look at that fucking tiny Bronco, dude. Wow. And it's intact. Bravo, son. For the first time ever. Oh. Fuck me, dude. Where to, folks? There he is! Cosmo Canyon, please. Good. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. Thousand bucks, all right. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to your pony up. Wait, are we gonna leave the moment I do this? Hold on a second. Fair enough. Just so you know, there's a cancellation fee if y'all decide to back out last minute. 100 mil per person. <laughs> Best think about that. Why wow, is he even giving us his name yet? Damn, I'm actually surprised to see him not smoking a cigarette. I'm almost wondering if maybe they cut that out of his character. In the original game, uh, this inv individual here, it's, it's whatever, it's fucking Sid. <laughs> we all know who this is. He's in Kingdom Hearts as well. 
We see him all the way. It's fucking Sid. Sid Highwind. Uh, this guy was a was a piece of shit, smoking cigarettes and I don't know, talking a lot of smack. Uh, I haven't talked much smack yet. He's not smoking any cigarettes, but you know, might we might get to that. But I actually, I don't know. Maybe they like took that out of his character, you know, of, of him of him smoking. I don't know to be more uh, PC or something, you know. Not encourage the kids to go out there and do that shit. Granted, I'm pretty sure we've seen other like bad guys smoking this game, so maybe we don't want good guys smoking. You know what? Fuck it. I kind of, as much as I, I want to check out and get the remainder of this stuff, I also just kind of want to see a little more of the story here. So I'll save some of this stuff for later. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you how to make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because... <laughs> ah. Here we go! Wow. So, we also did not meet this character this early, by the way. We didn't meet uh, Sid until uh, after Cosmo Canyon. No shit, kid. Who do you think I am? President and pilot of Bronco Airlines, said I win. Pleasure having you aboard. Damn, this shit seems a lot fucking nicer. Holy shit. Uh. I must admit. Yeah, no, you, no, actually, no, it wasn't. Hell, no, it wasn't even until uh, after the next couple of places that you ran into Sid for the first time. So this is happening way earlier. But I guess it makes sense there, like, I actually have him, like, ferry us over to Cosmo Canyon. In the original, you just, you were actually able to just drive your Doom Buggy to Cosmo Canyon. I guess, I guess we can't really do that here. The topography changed somehow. I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <gasps> <laughs> Bro, no! You are truly a model soldier, my boy. What are you doing, dude? Oh, no. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Oh no, Rush, what are you doing, of dude? Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Oh, God. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Roche, no! Why? Do you just like want more power to beat Cloud or something? He said he was a willing participant. Holy shit. Cosmo Canyon region, skies above. What? Uh -oh. What? Thought maybe plans would be okay. Oh my god, I'm controlling it! Out in here? Open a window! Uh -oh. Hey, see it. Yeah? Oh my god, this is You're awesome. about flying around in the open like this? What if Shenra sees us? Shenra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. 
<laughs> We're getting pretty close now. I mean, it's still kind of guiding me, but I can, I can shuffle around. It's pretty neat. Whoa! Whoa! Crying out. Chapter 10, okay, Watcher of the Veil. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. And that's it, huh? That's kind of it for Sid for right now. Right now, he is basically just an NPC. To be fair, he is not going to be, he's not going to be joining our party this game. We already know that. It's, it's, it's essentially been confirmed. I guess I'm kind of seeing why now, how they're, the, the way they're handling him. Just like, yeah, just kind of just, I'm, I'm here to pilot this thing. Interesting. Okay. All right. The veil's this way. So it seems a lot nicer than he did in the original game. Where's what game you like? Oh. Inspect the telephone booth and an airstrip to send up a smoke signal to call upon the tiny Bronco. After lying the pilot, will happily fly you to any, any airstrip you visited before for the right price, of course. The right will be a thousand gil for your inaugural trip and 300 for subsequent flights. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Bahamut Arisen. Oh, God damn doodly. Neo Bahamut. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. So many areas. So many big fat areas in this game. Salter's mind check. Oh, the music, dude. Yes. But yeah, it seems like so f in this game is, yeah, he's just going to be essentially piled in the tiny Bronco for, you know, multiple instances. I think the thing that I'm kind of curious about then are what uh, the events of Rocket Town in this game will be like. Because we did in the original game, you do go to a place called Rocket Town and that's ver tied very closely to Sid. That's technically where you meet him for the first time. It's like a Western version of the uh, the world map theme. Or the main, the main FF7 theme. Oh, no, there it is above us. Wow, sneaky one. Cosmotite ore, wow. So cool, dude. Guess we'll go ahead and just follow red here. Once again, we are without Chocobo. I see a weird little pad or something over there. It's like another dash pad, like launching your chocobo or something. Hey, it's this little penguin thing. Ski, ski, ski. Uh, avian creatures that nest in arid environments, highly competitive. They boldly threaten anything that opposes them. Fly out of, flying out of control once angered. Betting fear about will pressure them. And they are fucking dead. Wow. Holy shit. There it is, boys. There's Cosmic. Wow. That's so fucking cool looking. God damn. It's so fucking cool looking. Well, all right, guys. I think, you know what? This is probably a good spot to end things here for now before we head over into the Cosmo Canyon area. This game's amazing, man. I'm a, I, like, I, I will say, seeing Sid acting so nice is very odd. 
It is very odd. I'm, I am going to be curious if there's like a caveat to this or something or like something's going on or if it's just going to be like, oh, we haven't seen the other side of him or we're to catch it on a good day. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm thinking the cigarette thing is just gone, but him being just like rather. I mean, in the original, he's like he is like actually an asshole, like and treats people. Most people like garbage. Um, so yeah, I'll be curious to see if that's like, <laughs> I don't know. There's a specific character in particular that is associated with Sid also that he like treats really badly. His like not, like his not wife essentially. So I'll be curious if that also comes into play in some way. I'll honestly, I'll be honest. If he, if they got rid of that and just ended up like changing his character, I'm not going to be too crazy about that simply because he goes through like a bit of a character arc, right? I think if he starts off already good, then, you know, he can't improve by the end of the game. But I don't know. I, I, I mean, at this up to this point, the game and the characters that have been uh, shown here have been amazing, right? The renditions are like fucking incredible. So I'm just going to trust the devs and the writers here and let the story be told to me and just see what happens. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.